To create an analysis, a lateral or PA X-ray picture is required. This can be any kind of DICOM file with its embedded patient's data that can be automatically imported into an analysis, or just a simple image of any kind, like a JPEG, a TIFF, GIF, etc. Let's open an image. We begin by entering the patient's data, the first and family name, date of birth, sex, x-ray image date, and the type of patient. Based on the data we've entered, we can see this is a 32-year-old male, so let's choose adult. The patient's treatment status is beginning. In the next step, we choose the analysis type. Let's select one from the list. On the screen, we can now see several points and planes that need to be positioned to the correct spots or landmarks on the soft and hard tissues for the measurements to be correct. We can also use the Group Move tool to position all points and planes in a single step at the approximate location around the actual targets. Afterwards, we can fine-tune each points and planes positions individually. The Cella Turstica, Nasion, Pronasale, Soft Tissue Pogonian, Laborale Inferior, Laborale Superior, Anterior Nasal Spine, Posterior Nasal Spine, Point A, and then the incisor edge of upper incisor, the lower incisor. Moving the porion, it can be very challenging to define on the image. Articulare, basion, menthon, pogonion, gnation, point B, tangent, gonion, both incisors, apexes. We can adjust the position of a single point at any time and then check the location using the magnifier tool. At this stage, we need to be sure all the elements have been positioned. In the structure tree, all elements that still need adjusting are marked yellow. When we select such an element, it is highlighted in red on the X-ray image. In our case, we see the occlusal plane, the pterygoal maxillar fissure, also the orbitale point, as identified and able to be adjusted. After all the elements have been moved to their correct positions, we need to calibrate the image. Let's select an the measuring scale. We choose the calibration element. Based on the selected distance on the scale, we enter the correct millimeter count into the distance field. As we can see, all the measurements now have the appropriate units, angles are recalculated. We only need to print the analysis.